am Becky Michael. I'm the Executive Director of the Monterey Peninsula College Foundation, and I'm here today with one of our alumni to tell us a little bit more about his story. Hello, I am Gerson Oriana, and I'm, all, I'm one of the MPC alumni students um, coming back as well. Yes. So um, first, can you tell me a little bit about your experience as an MPC student? As an MPC student, I really found a lot of support here on campus. Um, I really believe that where you can look, you'll find. And so I definitely found support here on campus, especially being part of the EOPS program. I really liked that they had um, uh, people with the ability to counsel, and they have amazing counselors. And MPC has so many opportunities to offer to students, and I'm glad that I found um, those opportunities while I was here, and I was able to make meaningful connections yeah. um, within my internship experience and within my educational experience here at MPC. That's fantastic. So what degree did you earn at MPC, and what are you doing now? Um, I graduated with my associate's degree in sociology. I was very inspired by my professor, um, uh, what's his name? <laughs> but, Anthony Villarreal? Yes, Anthony oh. Villarreal, <laughs> shout him out, and he was a very inspiring teacher, instructor, and mentor. Mm. Um, so how do you think your situation would be different if you didn't come to MPC? So where are you on now? What would be different? Well, I wouldn't be in, in another institution. Mm. I wouldn't be qualified to even be at a uh, state university mm -hmm. um, because of it. MPC um, was very clear and stated the, um, the requirements of me transferring. So mm -hmm. I was uh, I'm glad that MPC um, was very um, aware of that and letting me know that there are certain requirements and expectations for me to work on and to end up being in an institution where I'm at right now at CSUB. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like that has positioned you better to get a job, like a career position yes. someday, especially, you know, you're going into this field, now you have this on your resume, not to mention the skills and experience you gained, but that compared to doing a minimum wage job that a lot of students do during their time, you know, doing these professional internships where it's relevant to the coursework that you're doing, just seems like that would really put you in a better position for the next step, yeah, right? Yeah, no, yeah, and yeah. I believe that, um, I, I could have been a different student where I would have been not interested in, in doing an internship at all. Mm -hmm. I would have been just going straight to the workforce or field or whatnot, mm -hmm. or go work in a fast food chain, you know. Mm -hmm. I could have done that, but no, I actually wanted to put in practice and really put myself in a perspective. If For me, myself, I'm seeking a career where I'm gonna have to help people right. and learn how to address certain disparities or certain conflicts that they're um, they're experiencing so I felt like for me early on um, it has benefited I have benefited from mm -hmm. this experience thank you yeah. that was great and um, I hope someday when you're the executive director <laughs> of your own nonprofit yes. we'll form a partnership yes. and we'll address disparities together yes, yeah. yes. thank you so much All right. thank you. <laughs>